Hi everybody! It's been a few weeks since you've last heard from me, and that's just because um, I didn't find the time uh, to make plugins. But now I'm here and I have something new for you, and this is a new plugin, and this is the Tukan Studios Denoiser. Looks like this. So let me try to explain what it does, how it works. Um, I just prepared um, some windows and plugins um, to explain uh, what I mean. So um, let's imagine you're recording a guitar amplifier. And this amplifier uh, does a, a noise, hissing noise, however you want to call it. Um, let's simulate that with a white noise. And um, that would be a noise floor of the guitar amp. And then you have a, um, a sound that you want to hear. This would be um, a tone. So, um, And what we want to have is um, only the tone without the noise. But we have a tone and a lot of noise. And this is where we want to use a denoiser. And it works like this. First, you need a um, piece of recording where this guitar isn't playing and you have only the noise from the amplifier. You would click on Detect Track, so you will detect the um, noise profile for this particular track. So now we have a noise profile. We can reduce the noise with this noise reduction um, knob. So now we have no uh, noise reduction. And by turning that knob up, you see the noise will get uh, reducted. While the sound itself you want to have stays as it was. So there's no difference if I turn that on or off. So only the noise will be removed and not the, um, the guitar sound. Of course, you could use this um, for any kind of sound. It's not only for guitars. Um, for example, when you're doing a voiceover with your microphone and you're talking in that microphone, you could um, record a bit of silence in your room and um, remove the computer fan and air condition and the street outside. Um, so only your voice will be left. Sometimes denoisers um, have the problem that they remove too much of the um, higher frequencies which you would hear as a kind of artifacts. And um, for this purpose, uh, the Tukan Studios denoiser has a high shelf filter in the detector chain. So if you want to keep more of the highs, you need to detect less of the highs. So I turn that all the way down and um, just need the noise and detect again. And now you see um, the high frequencies are kept while the low frequencies are removed. Of course, you could do this in, uh, in the other way around. So if you want to especially remove the high frequencies, um, then boost them, detect again, and now the high frequencies are removed. Um, for this filter, you have um, the um, boost or cut option and, of course, a frequency. So that is what is basically going on. And now um, there was another option you saw there in the, um, in the denoiser plugin. And this was the um, detect all option. And this is something you need if you do a multi-track session um, like me here, I have a multi-track from an uh, orchestra recording. can do this in um, 
MCP mode, of course, like all of the plugins. And I put that to all of my recording tracks. So now I've found a piece of recording where no one is playing and no one says something. So it's just the noise. And I put all these um, denoiser units into the detect all mode. And now I can play back that noise. Um, you will hear the noise as it is because um, the um, noise removal knobs are all turned down all the way. So let's detect that. And I can click on any of those um, plugins and they all will measure their own noise profile for their track. So that should do. Now let's bring up the denoising in all of the plugins. And now let's hear something, um, some recorded material with um, the noise as it is. Um, the denoisers are all bypassed now. And denoisers on. So if you want to keep one denoiser uh, not detecting again, put that to uh, detect track. And um, when you uh, when you measure the noise profile for all, this um, in track mode won't follow. Of course, this plugin again is scalable. As you knew it from the other plugins, um, I already um, retrofitted with that option. And um, and we have this info field and it shows something special. The original denoiser plugin is made by Neil Bickford. Thank you for that. Um, he calls his denoiser ratio denoiser. And this is um, the denoising engine I took for this plugin. And I asked him if I could use that to make a um, Tukan Studios denoiser of that. And he said, yes. So thank you very much, Neil. And for all of you others, have fun with the plugins and bye bye.